Welcome back. A farm in Thompson is really doing it all. Fort Hill Farms is a dairy farm, but it also sells pumpkins, holds nature walks, and has a really cool corn maze every year. Check it out. This year's theme is the Thompson Motor Speedway. It's a tribute to the motor park that's celebrating its 85th anniversary. Fox Sports even came to the farm and asked how they could collaborate on this. Fort Hill Farms has been doing a corn maze for decades, and they do different themes each year. Every year. You know, one year we've done the Appalachian Trail. One year we did, um, she has class in the sense of the cow. The cow has class. And we talked all about milk. And one year we did Cabot cheese. Uh, one year we talked about water and soil. And, you know, so we figure this is a way for us to educate, educate people about agriculture. And maybe not just agriculture. That's Kai Slovak. Her family owns the farm. She says her mother really takes pride in making the corn maze an educational experience each year. And this year's Speedway theme, she says, is no different. Questions throughout the maze teach people about its history. You know, some of the questions are, you know, before 1938, the Thompson Speedway was a, and you've got to fill in these bubble letters, and then there's a secret word at the end. And before 1938, Thompson Speedway was actually a dairy farm. No kidding. Well, that's a big deal to the farm since Fort Hill has been a working dairy farm since the 1940s. Tourism and retail, like selling pumpkins in the fall and holding nature tours on the property, just part of that farming business they do. The dairy farm, of course, is the other part, and that's where LeVac spends most of her time. And, um, we uh, just put in our um, fourth milking facility here up at the up in a new robotic barn. We've been in here for a year and a half. I, w I couldn't be happier. The robot barn, it's a 24-7 milking facility, so I don't have to be up here all the time. I actually have a life now, whereas before in our old facility, it was a... Uh, 24 7 you didn't know when you were going to sleep <laughs> and you see that um, so the change is great news for levac and her husband who now also have a 19 month old daughter and they require a lot of work as well levac says her father was the person who inspired her to add this new technology to the farm he passed away five years ago and his daughter is now carrying on the dream of advancing that farm and making it more sustainable about two years ago, she knew she had to do something because she lost a lot of her labor. The farmhands went back to college. And that's when plans for the robotic milker came about. They added a way to get use out of the cow's, cow's waste more efficiently, too. So we put an anaerobic digester in about four years ago, roughly. Um, and that digester produces electricity with food waste brought in, but our own cow manure from our farm. And that cow manure and food waste make electricity and send that off to Eversource. Then we use uh, the byproduct of that and put that towards a bedding. And that uh, bedding is um, re re recycled cow manure. It's dry. It's just like soil. You pick it up in your hand and it, you know, it, it, you could plant a plant with it. So we use that for bedding. And then we, uh, the digester, the anaerobic digester also produces electricity for this barn, not just sending it. Really neat, right? Even the way they collect the manure is more advanced. Now you're looking at a picture of what's called discovery collectors. They vacuum it up. All of this allows the farmers to focus on what they're producing, the milk, of course. You can buy their products directly at the farm. They also sell them at two cafes in the area. Uh, the Farmer's Cow Cafes, one is in Berlin, Connecticut, and one is in Willimantic, uh, Connecticut. So those two, you can go and get our products and cut out the middleman if you wanted to go get lunch or ice cream, and you can also buy the product there. And there are... Uh, they are also working to open a farm stand on their property in the near future. Most of their milk, they say, is sent to the Farmer's Cow and Cabot Cheese. Both of those brands you'll recognize from grocery stores, right? And if you're wondering how they get paid when you buy milk at the store, LeVac, help us understand that, too. And we get paid pennies. We're, we're the last person to get anything. You know, uh, the stores and processing plants get more of the, that dollar than we do. Federal milk order is what puts out the price. I can't change my price, but what I can tell you is just keep drinking milk and eating cheese and, and um, hopefully 
the price will that will help the price go down. And of course, you can help support the farm with all of the fall fun they do, like the corn maze. It's open through Halloween. Head to their website. You can buy tickets there to learn more about Fort Hill Farms has to offer.